Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the improved, improvised, much better version of the single versus dual GPU video. Now I made a video on this topic a, a few months ago, more than a few months ago, I think close to a year ago now. And the video wasn't very clear, not a lot of people liked it. A lot of bad comments, I was like, you know, screw this, let's do this again. Let's redox it, let's make it better. Because I give the people what they want. So, let's be honest guys, or not let's be honest, let's be clear. A dual GPU graphics card is not the same as two single GPUs, or two single graphics cards. Now, I'm going to have um, some little, you know, diagrams to make it clear uh, clearer for you guys. Because I think that's something I really should have done in the last video. So, what you see on screen now is a dual GPU graphics card. Or, oh, that, that actually makes no sense. A dual GPU card. Because dual GPU graphics card, that's like a bloody, not an oxymoron, but that's just like repeating myself. So, as you can see, there's two of the GPUs on the same PCB. Now, the PCB is just like the board, the motherboard looking thing. That's the best way I can explain it to someone that might not understand. So, it's two GPUs on one PCB. That is a dual GPU card. A single GPU card is obviously in the name. It's one single GPU on one PCB. Now, surely by now you know the difference. The diagrams that they helped you a lot. Now, when we talk about um like SLI, is a dual GPU card classified as SLI? Yes, it is. Or oh, in AMD's terms, it's cross, uh, classified as Crossfire. Yes, it is still SLI and Crossfire, regardless of it being on one PCB or on one, you know, just one shroud. So, yeah, if you're buying a dual GPU card, you'll still have the same SLI or Crossfire issues which you might come across by having two single GPU cards. So, yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Um, so some examples of dual GPU cards include Radeon 7990, the 295X2, um, GTX 690, the 790 whenever it comes out, 590, and the GTX Titan Z. Uh, examples of, I, I, you guys should already know single GPU cards. Cards like the 7970, 290X, GTX 680, 780, 770. Pretty much on the Nvidia side, anything that does not have the two numbers ending in 90 is a sole G, uh, GPU card. If you ever see it end in 90, it's a dual GPU card. If it's not, it's single GPU. On the AMD side, it's a bit different. They always change their uh, GPU naming scheme, so that varies, but you'll know. You'll see in the specifications whether it's a dual GPU card or not. Now, usually with dual GPU cards, they will feature underclocked versions of their highest single uh, GPU equivalent, if you get what I mean. So for example, GTX 690, it is two underclocked GTX 680s, or two stripped down 680s. Um, 295X2, however, uh, it's AMD, I've got to give it to them. They did the 295X2 extremely well. They're two overclocked. Uh, 290x GPUs on the one PCB. That that was a good feat of engineering. Um, obviously they had the water cooler on it, so that really helped. But the fact that they could do that and the fact that it performs so well, um, on par with two single 290x, and some in some cases even better. I didn't understand how, but that's probably to do with clock speeds. That's an amazing feat of engineering. So when you're considering buying a dual GPU card, you need to remember that that will be putting out more heat. Um, than this one single GPU card, obviously, because there's two GPUs um, being cooled by, like, one, two, three fans, whatever it is. Um, so you're going to be putting more heat in. However, the advantage is that you can put, if you only have one PCI Express slot, um, then, and you want more power, then obviously just buy a dual GPU card, stack it in, and that's it. You've got two G, you've got two hypothetical graphics cards, or not even hypothetical, two literal graphics cards uh, on your computer with less space being taken up. It's really good for mini and micro uh, ATX uh, cases, which is great. So, uh, another thing you need to consider with dual GPU cards is that they do cost more money. Like, if you get a GTX on release, if you got a GTX 690 and then you bought two GTX 680s, uh, the 690 would cost more money. That's just how it is. 
um, maybe you know engineering costs, production costs, stuff like that. You know, it's fair enough. Um, just like the two ninety five X two costs for uh, eleven no fifteen hundred dollars, and two two ninety Xs are five fi- uh, five fifty plus five fifty eleven hundred bucks. So there's a four hundred dollar premium. However, two ninety five X two is priced pretty well considering that they are those chips are overclocked and they're water cooled. So, uh, it's tough, but. You know, there's trade-offs left, right, and center. So you just got to consider these things, and really, you just need to make an informed decision. Honestly, my I know a lot of people, a lot of other computer people say this, but if you have the opportunity, you're better off buying. Actually, no, that doesn't really apply to this. But I would honestly prefer if you've got the space in your case, buy two. If you if you really want to go SLI, buy two single of the uh, two single GPU cards, you no know, of the lower equivalent, the lower tier. So two six eighties over one six ninety. I would personally do that. Um, it's that's just my per uh, my personal preference. The same thing goes if you're um in a like a pickle and you're like shit. Should I buy two GTX seven sixties or should I buy one GTX seven eighty? Even though the two seven sixties will perform slightly better, I would still uh, prefer buying the seven eighty. Like it's you're always better buying off what will give you the least amount of hassle. If that makes sense, like. That's not comparable to this scenario, to this video, but, you know, I'm just putting it out there just in case people want to know. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Like, all you really needed to understand was the, uh, the difference was those diagrams at the start. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this improved version of this video. It was necessary. If you want to go back and watch the other one, you'll see how bad it was. It was kind of iffy. I had my bad mic. But, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.